and welcome back to another gluten-free news free baking video. How are we doing today? Today I'm going to be making gluten-free mixed spice sugar cookies. I absolutely love this recipe as it is super simple and easy to make. And because of those reasons, I cannot wait to make loads more in the future. So, you will be needing the following equipment. Scales, measuring spoons, some spray oil, a spatula, some Christmas cookie cutters, and my mum actually bought me this thing which I cannot wait to try today a large mixing bowl, a wooden spoon or an electric hand whisk, some baking paper, a rolling pin, two cookie sheets or baking trays, whatever you have access to, and a cooling rack. Just to let you know, both of my dogs have decided to join me down here, so in case you hear background noise during this video, that is what it is. But to continue with this video, you will be needing the following ingredients. 113 grams of butter softened at room temperature. I like to use lacto-free butter. 113 grams of caster sugar, half a medium sized egg beaten, I will show you how to do this in just one second, one teaspoon of ground mixed spice, 265 grams of gluten free self raising flour, and some icing sugar for rolling. Let's -a go! So now I'm going to show you how to half your egg. So for this, you are going to need to turn on your scales, place your bowl on, and set it to zero, which mine already is. Now we need to empty the entire weight of the egg, your original egg, into the bowl. So we get the original weight of it. And I make that 52. Half of 50 is 25, half of 2 is 1, so that's 26. So now we put back on the original bowl, setting it to 0, which it is. And then we essentially measure out until it is 26 grams, or whatever your half is. If it's an odd number, don't worry about getting it specifically even, even if it is an even half, don't worry about it. Don't worry about getting it specifically even. It's just roughly even, don't worry if it's a gram over or a gram not. I've done it that way and it's made no difference whatsoever, so. Well, that's 26, okay, we'll go with that. So now that you've got your measured egg, we are going to place this off to the side until we're ready to use it. The other egg you can place in the fridge or use it tonight for dinner or whatever. You can also make a double batch of this if you want to and use the entire egg. It's completely up to you. First things first, measure out all of your ingredients so that they're completely ready for you to use. And then preheat your oven to 180 degrees C on a conventional oven, 160 degrees C on a fan oven or gas mark four. Now that our ovens are switched on, it is now time to prepare our trays. So for this, you're going to be needing your baking trays or cookie sheets, some baking paper, some spray oil, and some scissors if you can find them. I can't find mine for love nor money, so I'm just not going to use them. Okay, so now that we have our cookie sheets or baking trays, our spray oil and our baking paper, we are going to begin preparing our tins. So for this, we're going to use our spray oil to spray on our cookie sheets or baking papers, baking trays, not baking papers. This just helps keep the baking paper stuck down, save it rolling off and things like that. Tear a bit of baking paper off to the size of your cookie sheets. You make that there we go. And place that down. There we go. So that's one done and now because I have the room to, I'm going to show you how to do the other one. Do not roll off. Oh, I need to get some more baking paper. Actually no, yeah. Okay, so now that they are finally both stuck down, I don't know what that other one's problem was. That is that done. So set these off to the side until you're ready to bake. So now that we've done all that prep work, it is now time to actually begin making our cookies. So first things first, we're going to need to mix together our butter and our sugar. So we are going to tip in our butter in one big go into our mixing bowl. And now we are going to sprinkle on our caster sugar. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Scraping down to side, scraping down this side, scraping down the sides of the bowl to make sure it all goes in there. And now we are going to mix together until light and fluffy. Oh, what setting are you on? There we go. Now that this is done, grab your egg. 
Now that we have our egg, we are going to simply place it in in one big go into our mixing bowl. And now we're going to mix until well combined. This is really important, okay? We want it to be nice and smooth. Otherwise, the butter will melt in the wrong places and it will just make our cookies become a disaster. And nobody wants that. Now that this is all mixed together and looking incredibly smooth, it is now time to grab our gluten-free self-raising flour and our ground mixed spice. Now that we have our ground mixed spice and our flour, we are going to add these together. Well, add the ground mixed spice to our flour. And now we're going to mix together until well combined. I so should have picked a bigger bowl. Right, I'm gonna transfer this to a bigger bowl because I'm not happy about it. Now that our flour and our ground mixed spice are well mixed together, we are going to, mixing all the time, add a little bit of our flour mixture to our main mixture until the entire mixture is fully combined. I think that's the right turn of English. I don't know, I mean, just, you'll see what I'm doing. So now that we've finished our first lot of mixing, we are going to scrape down the sides of our flour mixture bowl. And now we are going to scrape down the sides of our main mixing bowl. And now we're going to mix one final time for good luck. So now that this is all mixed together and smelling, oh, just like Christmas, it is now time to begin rolling these out. So for this, we're going to be needing our icing sugar and our rolling pin. Now, I've actually decided to use my chopping board for this as well, because I think that this isn't actually a proper table to be doing this on. So I'm going to just sprinkle it on here and do the rolling out on here. Because I don't really want to ruin this lovely, cute table thing that stores all my stuff. So I'm just sprinkling on some icing sugar onto my chopping board. This is also good if you don't have enough workspace as well. I'm going to mix together my dough to make try and make it one big thing. Half my dough, just so that it doesn't dry it out too much. I find that if I use all of it, one, it gets too big for me to handle, and two, I dry it out too much. This just gives less to roll out a second time, I suppose. Whereas if you did it with the whole thing, you'd be rolling it out three, four times. With this, you're only rolling it out two or three times. Okay, so that's on there. I'm going to sprinkle my icing sugar on top of my dough and on my rolling pin. And now I'm going to begin rolling out. You can do this to whatever thickness you like. It's completely up to you. I have given a guide on my blog post, which I think was a quarter of an inch. But, you know, it just completely depends on how thick you want these. But do remember, as this is gluten-free self-raising flour, it will rise. So if you want it a quarter of an inch, it'll probably end up being like a quarter of an inch and a half of a quarter of an inch on top of it so just be prepared for that okay so I'm liking that thickness so I'm now going to grab my cookie cutters so now that I've got my cookie cutters I or whatever this is I don't even know what this is anymore I am going to try and fit as many as I can on these I, I don't even know what half of these shapes are but I'm going to try and stick to the Christmassy ones so 
That's got to be a penguin. It's a penguin in a stocking. A reindeer. Shooting star. A couple of stars. A moon. A candy cane. That should do it. So press these down. Hopefully this works. I mean, worst comes to worst, I have to roll this out again and use my other cookie cutters. Okay, so now give them a little bit of a jiggle. Here we go, and up we come. Now I might not actually, I might need my palette knife, but I'm not going to know until I start pulling these out. So let's give that a go. And I've actually got my palette knife and my cookie sheet over here. So if you see me going like this, it's because I'm putting the cookie sheets, cookie, the cookies onto the cookie sheets. I might be able to fit it on here if I move some things around. No, I'm not going to. Okay, so let's try moving this onto the cookie sheet, shall we? Now, back on my thing and on we go. Yeah, there we go. Right, one, <laughs> two. You want to spread these out a little bit as well so that they're not all tucked together. I will show you before I place these in the oven. So now that I've done the first lot of cookies, I'm going to re-roll this dough and repeat the same process. I am then going to do it with the rest of this dough and I will see you after that. So now that I have finished rolling out my cookies and placing them onto my cookie sheets, and they are all spaced out like this so that they've got room to grow and to get bigger because of the gluten-free self-raising flour. I'm going to place these cookies into our preheated oven for 14 minutes. After that time, I'm going to take them out of the oven and leaving them on the cooling rack to cool down on their tray or cookie sheet. And then after that time, I'm going to take my cookies off of my cookie sheets, placing them onto the cooling rack to cool completely. And that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description as I love them all and wouldn't put them there if I didn't, including the recipe for these lovely cookies and my shop where you will be able to buy all of the flour and equipment you will need for this recipe. If you do make these at home, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag BakingWithVicky so I can see all of your creations. Let me know in the comments of anything else you'd like to see me make gluten or yeast free as I do both. And finally, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Bye!